I'm gonna. I almost forgot to do this, which is which is terrible. H is a letter of the alphabet. H is also the name of Hardy Fox, mm-hmm. and Hardy Fox. Uh, I can now say, for the first time I've ever said this, is one of the residents, and uh, I can say that because uh, H died um, this week, last week. I'm sorry to hear that. I know that, uh, that was a... H was a really good friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, friend and hero and mentor. Yeah, I loved him. And we toured all over uh, Europe together. When I wrote, uh, uh, there's a new book out on the Black Mirror. It's a great book called The Black Mirror. And um, uh, that, that Charlie put out. And it describes, the last question in the book, as the interviewer asked me, was it worth being in a Spanish welfare hospital to have written The Black Mirror? And that's the last <laughs> question I asked. Um, but was, I was with H, you know, and it was it was H that was over there. It was there. H that found you. Uh, he was he was one of the ones that found me. Okay. And uh, I was very surprised, but in H's obituary, uh, uh, he wanted it known that he was one of the founders and main composer of the residence. Nice. Um, so uh, it's very you, you can't believe after after um, touring all over Europe and doing all these press conferences, the sentence. Hardy Fox is one of the founders of the residence. Yeah. is a very difficult sentence for me to say. Um, I kept that secret for a long time, but um, H was um, one of the most charming, brilliant, most avant-garde musical minds there's ever been. Uh, totally self-taught composer. Um, gave the residents most of their sound. Uh, worked with the residents from you know whatever it was '68. Right. Up, and, up until he retired, he retired in 2015, and uh, he has a great statement. He also confused everybody because on his web page, he he put up himself his birth date to 2018. He hadn't died. He put it up mm. himself. He put up a death date himself, but just not the not the week. But he knew he wouldn't make it for the rest of the year. So he put up his closing date. Isn't that pretty amazing? Yeah, I'm on the site right now. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. He confused it. And uh, he has this wonderful statement, and I'll say it badly, and then maybe you have it right there, that he'd pretty much done all his artistic goals, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just reading the website now. Um, I'm trying to look for a, a statement there. Uh, Hardy no longer records anything at all. That era ended. Perhaps even uh, death was not the reason. He was thinking more and more that he had completed his personal expectations. Yes, that's it. Completed his personal expectations. And you see a big picture of his smiley face right yeah. there. And uh, Hardy Fox, which is his real name, which is a great name, he's he's Louisiana. Actually, yeah. with that part of Texas, it overlaps Louisiana. What part is that? East Texas or West Texas? East Texas. East Texas. He was right on the border of Texas and Louisiana. Hardy Fox was his name, and I remember once being in his office and him getting a piece of junk mail, and it said, he said, this is addressed to Handy Socks. <laughs> I always know that they don't really know me then. But Hardy Fox was always called H. I wasn't called, which is, surprised me, because if my name were Hardy Fox, I'd be called Hardy Fox yeah. all the time. But he went by H. If you go by Hardy, if you go to hardyfox.com, he he actually wrote a book in 2015, right? And it's available for free, so you can yeah. just go there and read it. I have not read it yet. I've read the other residents' book. I just read it; it's very good, but I did not read uh, H's. And uh, I just wanted to to take a moment and talk about you know I told that story a zillion times of being at the Talking Heads yeah. concert yeah. and the guy saying I wish I knew who the residents were, and I said the names behind him. One of the names I said there was uh, was Hardy, Hardy Fox. Fox. And uh, all the people over the years that have asked me, uh, you know, is Hardy one of the residents? And I've had to say, uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Yeah. You can ask him. Uh, I know he works with the residents. I know he works in the offices with the residents. But whether he's one of the residents or not is something only he can divulge. And uh, he now has that he is uh, one of the founders, which I I just can't imagine. Uh, I, I'm very tempted to say a perfectly lived life. You know, start an anonymous band in 1968, and in 2018, right before you die, admit that you were one of the founders and that that was your life's work and that you're done. H was not the resident I was closest to, not the one that I spent the most time with socially, but uh, uh, huge smile, huge gentleness. He was one of these people that um, kind of like 
when we meditate and try to do all that stuff, it's kind of H we're going towards. Um, never really saw H angry. Uh, never saw H bored. Uh, always saw him, you know, sitting on a tour bus for uh, seven hours with no sleep. Uh, he'd be sitting there either reading or quiet listening to music or writing. Um, not uh, not irritable. Uh, just a very, very sweet, wonderful man. And let's not forget, uh, brilliant. Uh, well, really their sure. sound is amazing. And I, I don't know enough about the history of music to say that they had created uh, a, a very... Uh, a, a unique Louisiana sound in their music. Well, and I don't know their sound changed the origin so of that. Yeah, their sound changed so much over the years, and H always had different musical ideas. And always, uh, I remember telling H, which uh, I don't know if I really told him this or if you were fucking with me. You never can tell. <laughs> but I told him that uh, what transposing was. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you can have a tune, so you can move that up with the same intervals and stuff. Well, okay. But I, I imagine he was fucking with me. But H, um, just a brilliant man and really, really, really not interested in how other people made music. Mm. I mean, no interest whatsoever. Listen to records and stuff, but never any even thought of training or anything like that. Mm. Uh, this is the way I want this to sound. And uh, it, it was really great to see him monkeying around on the emulator, you know, the first emulator, yeah. which is an early uh, synth. synth in uh, late 70s, early 80s. And I was over at Ralph Records all the time when they were composing and working on stuff. And um, I'll miss H. I'll miss him um, very, very much. I, 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 loved, I loved H. So mm -hmm. goodbye, to, uh, goodbye to Hardy Fox and uh, a wonderful, wonderful name. Were you ever a Residence fan, Rich? I'm familiar, but not a huge fan. Yeah. Well, Third Reich and Roll is a great record. Eskimo is a great record. Uh, they're all great records. I listened to Constantinople this week. Oh, yeah. On the day. Yeah. Because I saw They Might Be Giants last week. Uh -huh. So there's a sure. connection there. There is. Different song. Yeah. And also, They Might Be Giants, certainly fans of The Residents. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly people like uh, Devo. And a lot of your 80s pop bands were rooted in the avant-garde of The Residents. Right. Uh, and... Uh, I have the original, uh, there's only 25 of the original Third Reich and Roll, which I have one. When I finished the tour uh, over there, um, the original single of Satisfaction the residents did, there were only uh, 200 of them printed. And they were all gone forever. And after I did the tour with them, I get a note from the residents with a copy of the 45 of Satisfaction saying, uh, we found this around the office. We think you dropped it after the tour. <laughs> this is yours. That's great. So, Very cool. Uh, nice. They're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people and did a uh, did, did wonderful music for the world. And now, uh, and H also seemed to, uh, I don't know if this means anything. I'm not saying that someone that doesn't do this, um, I'm not saying anything bad about them, but something wonderful about his um, his acceptance of death and the uh, and the dignity and the, and the good humor, which he lived his whole life and, uh, and left it. Uh, a, a true, true original in the way he lived his life and the, and the music and the art that he did. Hardy Fox. Hardy Fox. Hardy Fox. Hardy Fox.